Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about how to deal with bad body image. I think everybody struggles with bad body image from time to time, and girls as young as 5 years old are worried about their weight and want to be thinner. Body image is the way that you perceive yourself and the way you think others perceive you. I saw a quote on the Huffington Post that I really liked, and it is, body image has nothing to do with size or shape. It is the product of peer, social, and cultural values. These values influence our self-perception, self-worth, and self-esteem. So here are seven tips on dealing with bad body image and hopefully loving your body a bit more. Number one, accept what you can't change. 20 to 75% of our bodies are determined by genetics and we can't change that. So at some point, you just have to accept those things that you can't change. And that's why comparing yourself to other people is so unhelpful because you'll never be able to look like them. You guys were built differently. Number two, get off social media. Whether it's for a day, a week, or permanently, social media is the highlight reel of other people's lives. You don't know what was really going on behind that picture or video. Only 4% of girls have the portrayed body type. These Instagram models and people you're comparing yourself to online, only 4% of all girls actually look like them. And guess why? It's genetics. So if it's a really bad body image day, try staying off of social media. Become a critical viewer and think about the messages that the media is telling you. The media isn't made to make us feel good about ourselves. It's companies trying to sell something. And statistics show that they sell more if you feel dissatisfied with yourself. Because if everyone was okay with themselves and how they looked and felt no need to change, the beauty industry would go out of business. Number three, appreciate what your body can do. When we get really caught up in numbers and comparison, we forget all of the incredible things that our body lets us do, from dancing and yoga and hiking up mountains. Our bodies let us do so much, and we shouldn't forget that. Find something that you love and are super passionate about and do it. For me, that's boxing. Whenever I box, I just feel so good about myself because I'm like, wow, I'm strong. My body lets me do this. I love my body for letting me do this and have so much enjoyment out of it. Number four, practice gratitude. We get very caught up in the negatives and what we want to change about ourselves and what we don't like. What are you grateful for from your body and just in general? Good health is a really huge one. Maybe it's your best friend. Whatever it is, make a list or just recognize things that you're grateful for. It really helps just changing your mindset and making you more positive. And what are some things that you love about yourself and that you're grateful that you have? Maybe it's your sense of humor, maybe you're really smart, maybe you're super witty, whatever it is. Number five, surround yourself with positivity. So by surround yourself, I mean how you're talking to yourself, the people that you're around, what you're listening to, what you're reading, what you're watching, just everything. Like what are you putting around you? What are you feeding into your brain? Talking positively to yourself is so important as well as being surrounded by positive people. You are a direct reflection of the five people that you're around the most. So if you're not surrounding yourself by positive people, their negativity is gonna rub, rub off onto you. Think about the music that you're listening to, the videos you're watching. Make sure they leave you feeling better about yourself. One thing I like to do is just read and have around me is inspiring quotes. Here are three of my favorite quotes that really help me out when I'm having problems with bad body image. values. What is important to you? What do you want to get out of your life? What are your dreams? What are your goals? What do you want to do? Knowing these things inspires you and you can just question, is what you're doing helping you get closer to your values? Helping you accomplish your goals and get closer to your dreams? If it's not, then it's probably not beneficial for you to be doing. And lastly, number seven, just have a reality check. I find this really helps me when I'm just looking in the mirror and I'm just like, I hate myself. I hate my body. I hate how I look. I need to change. Literally, if you get into that train of thought, just stop, take a breath, and just take a step back from the emotion and those thoughts. And remind yourself that you are worth more than how you look. Your value is not in your outward appearance. Ask yourself some grounding questions. 
Questions like, what lies is my eating disorder telling me right now and what's the truth? What is really important in life? Do the people who love me love me because of how my body looks or do they love me because of who I am? And reminding yourself that your eating disorder is never going to make you happy. It's never going to keep its promises. So you're better off not listening to it. I really hope that this video was helpful to you guys. If you guys would like a part two to this video, just me talking more about how to deal with really negative body image, let me know because there's so much more I could talk about. Before I go, I just want to remind you guys that you do not need to change who you are because of what society tells you. Your value is not in your outward appearance and you are okay just as you are. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.